Welcome to the course on explosions and safety. I'm Prasad Patnaik from IIT Madras. Uh, this course will be predominantly taught by Professor K. Ramamurthy. I'm glad to be associated with this course. Uh, let me provide a brief outline about this course. Uh, a variety of uh, explosions are abound both in nature and technology. Uh, to be able to safeguard against these explosions, it's very important that we understand the physical processes responsible for such explosions. Uh, any explosion is typically due to the release of a, a high energy material. It can be uh, a sudden release of energy and that sudden release of energy is uh, the source of generation of a blast wave. Therefore, in this course, uh, about uh, 10 lectures will be spent on understanding uh, uh, and characterizing blast waves. We are going to uh, see the effects of blast waves. We can see a collage of effects. Uh, typically, uh, a blast wave generation is possible due to a landmine explosion, due to a bomb explosion. It's very important that we as engineers uh, are able to develop better protection strategies and design methodologies uh, to be able to uh, both, of course, generate explosions as well as uh, um, develop safety standards uh, against such explosions based on the nature of requirements. Uh, it's uh, also important that we understand how the, uh, the waves essentially travel. Uh, they have different levels of effects in terms of understanding their propagation uh, and the nature of uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary effects, uh, which are typically possible due to blast waves. Uh, let us uh, try to take a uh, overview of this uh, course. Uh, the intended audience, of course, are engineering students, practicing engineers. Uh, they, they can be uh, with uh, backgrounds in mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, aerospace engineering, uh, even materials uh, and metallurgy, uh, of course, as well as applied mechanics. Uh, the background that is expected is uh, some bit of background in mechanics as well as thermodynamics. Uh, and industries which can uh, possibly be interested in, uh, uh, you know, with uh, already working engineers could be um, engineers coming from uh, chemicals and explosives related, Army, Navy, Air Force. Uh, defense, etc., could be part and parcel of this uh, uh, target audience. Um, let us uh, quickly try to see the textbooks which will be used for this course. Uh, of course, Professor Ramurthy himself has written uh, a very uh, nice textbook, which is uh, published by McGraw Hill. And uh, there are other classics like uh, Becker's uh, book, as well as uh, uh, Stull, and uh, of course, Kinney and Graham is. Uh, uh, quite well known uh, and, and very uh, readable book. Um, let us uh, try to uh, look at uh, the course uh, details uh, related to, uh, it's, it's a 12 week course starting on 18th of uh, Jan, ending on 9th April, exam date is 25th April, uh, enrollment ends on uh, 25th Jan. Uh, because uh, typical category, of course, is mechanical engineering, but uh, uh, students with uh, uh, post-graduation uh, studies in post-graduation, as well as uh, students in their third final years of undergrad in mechanical, chemical, aerospace, metallurgy, applied mechanics are welcome to be part of this course. Thank you. <laughs>